My name is Michael. My name's Anthony. And it's like about a half an inch longer. You still gotta get those kegs. Come at me, yo, bitch. Good <laughs> show, everybody. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to m as Excellent Adventures, where I'm Michael, and, and this I'm is my Anthony. little sock puppet, Anthony. I'm your what? Mm-hmm. And we're going to tell you a story. I called you my sock puppet. So, I, yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah. I got that. I thought you were going to say sock monkey, and okay. I was, I was going to make the silly sock monkey face. Well. But now I can't, because no, it's ruined. Yeah, because you're my puppet. Mm-hmm. Sure. Well, you're you're hosting today. I am hosting today. So take it away, bro. Well, um, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Busy. Uh, Busy time, dude. It's crazy. We th- this is a really exciting episode. Why is it exciting? Because we are saying goodbye. We're saying goodbye to this space. To this space. Not each other, not the show. Yeah, We're not, not the show, not the show. We're just getting We're started. We're moving next week. We are. Yeah, you're moving to a house, so we can't use your space anymore. Yeah. So we have a pretty cool thing in the works for next week. We're just going to keep it a on the DL. Well, I guess we can't really keep it on the DL. We just told him we're moving. So. Yeah. So we're moving to a new space. We're moving to an office um, space. Like an actual space. So. Which is pretty crazy. We're 53 episodes in this. Not in this specific space because we recorded a lot of episodes in, in the, the other office. Space, which yeah. is just next door. Yeah. But this is the only space that the video audience has seen. Yeah. So now yeah. we're going to have a new space and maybe a new face or two. And, uh, you know, new friends, new faces, new. New uh, directions, but still m and Still m and 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 if you don't know what we're talking about, about video stuff, make sure you check us out on YouTube because we do live video recordings here. That's right. Not live on YouTube yet. No, but like they're live because they're they're happening as we're recording. We're recording them live. So they're live right now. But when you hear it, that's just a recording of the live. We didn't pre-record ourselves You can just say we're recorded live. Yeah. 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 We recorded live. We're recorded live. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have an audience out there. We do. My lovely wife is in the hallway at the moment. Uh, yeah. Um, Say hi. Hi. Yeah. That wasn't her. That was no, 100% that, you. That was totally me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take credit He's for it. He's trying Thanks. to fuck us already. Oh. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're going to have a good time. We are going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. Anthony brought out the Fresca. Not we have sponsored, the Fresca. Not so... sponsored. Hold up. Hold up. Not sponsored. And I will say it's mighty okay. I love... You don't... You're, you don't, you're not in love with this. It's fantastic. Uh, it's fine. It's pretty good. It's, you're annoyed because it says soda water and you're like, I don't like soda water. <laughs> I like regular soda. No. It's like be soda or be water. Don't be, be both. soda! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's... Have you seen that video? No. <laughs> Someone edited Biden... To be sh- shouting, he he was saying Minnesota because he was like, "We got votes in Minnesota," and everyone, uh, or this one guy like edited it so he just shouted "Soda," <laughs> and everyone was like, "Biden's deranged" because he just was, was shouting about soda. What's up with that? <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, you aren't aware of one of the 50 states we have here, notably <laughs> one of the best ones in the country." <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. I uh I when I was younger, I used to think Minnesota was like super lame because I my only experience with Minnesota was Moorhead, which is we live in North Dakota on the border. Mm. Um so when I would go over to Moorhead, I was like, "Oh, this is like Fargo, but it's not fun." But I, you travel to the rest of the state and there is, it's one of the best states, in hands down. I've traveled across the country. One of the best states, hands down, is uh, Minnesota. It's so beautiful. The, it is very it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is very there's beautiful. A, there's a couple cities. There's a lot of culture. The food's bomb. Is there, is the food bomb? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know if I've ever they had slap, an authentic well, Minnesota next, cuisine. They're, whatever that is. It's it's a lot of uh, fried foods. It's the same mm, stuff that we have around here. Sure, sure. But uh, they're right next to Wisconsin, so they slap cheese on everything. That's true, too. true. That's a big thing. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I, I've always been told that 
Moorhead to Far like m- Moorhead to Fargo or Moorhead uh yeah to Fargo yeah. is the uh St. Paul to Minneapolis. Yes. <laughs> that's what I've been told is that, It's funny because if you think about it, we're we are twin cities. We just don't identify as twin cities. Yeah. We're like fraternal twins. We're like triplet cities cuz West Fargo is also a separate city. I guess it is a separate city. Yeah, we're, and, and we're it's, pretty cool. We're pretty cool. We're, we're the triplet city. Yeah. If anything, we're better than the Twin Cities. Probably. Or we're swallowing know. up other cities as we speak. We already got Horace. We're like the blob. We just get right. bigger and nobody's moving, so we just absorb them. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. in 10 years, we'll have absorbed Mapleton for sure. I Look... <laughs> If we haven't already absorbed Mapleton, you're absolutely right. I have a feeling we're already well, pushing boundaries. There, there's there's a good gap of nothing between us and Mapleton right now. Maybe a few miles. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Miles, yeah. So, yeah. But we'll take them. Mm-hmm. Mapleton will be Fargo before you know it. And then Castleton. Mm-hmm. We'll just keep expanding. Also, I just, be rea- West Fargo, I I just realized you don't have headphones on, so you didn't hear me blowing up the microphone when I shouted soda. No. Because I did the distortion thing and everything. Oh, no, I didn't hear <laughs> that Because it was too loud all. for the microphone to pick it up properly. Wow. Why is it buzzing? Oh, you don't know it. It's gonna, are you tapping this? Am I just shouting too much? Is that? That's you. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I, well, I can't tell. What? You can't tell. <laughs> I, yeah, I won't touch probably, anything. No, you were picking at this. <laughs> it was. When you hear the playback, you'd be like, oh, man, that's distracting. Oh. <laughs> I was looking around. Okay. So I, I thought someone was tapping on the door. Oh. I, uh, I will keep my hands yeah. to myself. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. I'm yeah. running the show today because I lost the splitter. Yeah, I'm so also running the show today because I'm the host. I guess you are. So if you're unfamiliar with this show, we have hosts and uh, we, we rotate. And ghosts who do the most. Yeah, so it's Michael's week. It's like we're divorced Jeez. parents. So <laughs> yeah, we share custody. custody of, the sh- <laughs> of, of the show baby of the this story. week. story. Yeah, so I guess if you're not familiar with the way things work around here, uh, the rules are simple. Uh, Each week, one of us comes up with a premise and a main character for a short story, and the other person plays that main character, and the other person is not made aware of that premise or anything until we are recording. So I have a premise, I have a setup for a story, Mm -hmm. Anthony has not heard it yet. You know what I have? What's that? Soda! (laughs) (laughs) But yeah. Would you, would you like a would you like a little top off, buddy? Sure, if you want to top me off. Oh, I'll top you off. <laughs> you know, I used to work at an Olive Garden, so I learned the proper. Uh, boop, you, you do that. You do a little rotate, and then you wipe off with the napkin, and and look at that. We are also an ASMR. And podcast then you give them well. head. Well, it's funny. Or you, you ask can't hear if this. they want head. Well, you can't hear this, but. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm that's sure, the kind of head I'm that, sure that uh, translated. Certainly. Um, so, yeah. Well, anyways, Anthony, mm-hmm. I think it's time because I think they say it's time that we go and do. <laughs> Tell me a story. <laughs> we go and do. Tell me a story. <laughs> Yeah. This is why we need a soundboard, <laughs> so I can just hit a button and go, boo, tell me a story. Keep it away from you. Are you fucking ready, bitch? Uh, I'm ready, Michael Kuhn. Okay. Tell me, what is my story? Here we go. Yeah. Your name uh-huh. is... Uh-huh. We'll just keep it with Anthony. <laughs> oh, okay, my name is You get to be Anthony, Anthony this today. week. You okay. You get to be Anthony. And who are you? And I... You have Are to you fi- my senpai? You have, <laughs> you have to figure out who I am. Oh! So, we're doing a dating game. Okay. You are, of course, the, the, the um, guest of honor here. So, yeah. you essentially are on one side and we're split off. And then I will be the oh, three suitors. Okay. You'll ask me a series of questions. Okay. And I'll answer. So, Got you know, uh, uh, bachelor number one, two, and three. So, are you behind a wall or are you in... I'm confused. So, like, I'm behind a wall. So, like, you, you, wall. you don't know who I okay, am okay. being. And okay. then by so, the, at the end of the episode, we'll uh-huh. see if you can tell who... All, all the bachelors are. 
I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. So then, <clears throat> let me just... Uh, I'm going to face away. Well, actually, nah, the camera doesn't know if I'm facing away. <laughs> and... Ready, set, tell me a story. Nice. Thanks. Did it myself. All right. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is your favorite game show, Who's That Bachelor? I'm joined here today. We have our guest of honor, Anthony. Anthony, how are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm feeling quite lucky, if you know what I mean. Oh, I think we know what you mean. Anthony is going to be asking three mystery bachelors a series of questions tonight. By the end of the night, he's not only going to think guess who these bachelors are, but he's going to choose which one of them gets his rocks off tonight. So... <laughs> okay. Bachelor number one, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Bachelor number two, are you ready? I am. And bachelor number three, are you ready? I'm always ready. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, well, Anthony, please ask your first question and make sure to direct it to a specific bachelor each time. So, bachelor number two, I'm going to start in the middle. Yes. If you were a sandwich, what kind of sandwich would you be? <laughs> I guess I'm not much a fan of sandwiches. They're bready, full of carbs. Bachelor number three. <laughs> I was bored of the yes. other bachelor. Yeah, yeah, of course. What's up? If you were a sandwich, what kind of sandwich would you be? Well, you know... I love sandwiches. And in the business that I'm in, actually, we do serve some sandwiches along with other concessions and other okay. meals and, and food and everything okay. there because we just want all of our guests to have a great time. I could fuck with that. Um, okay. So I guess if I, if, I, if I was a sandwich, what kind of sandwich would I be? What kind of sandwich would you be? I would be a sandwich for the ages. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to go back to bachelor number two here. Of course. Bachelor number two. My question for you is, if you had to choose to be on a beach or be on a pier, which, which would you prefer? Well. Granted, the pier is not on the beach. Well, that's good. So I don't like beaches. They're long... Hot, and they make my towels so messy. Not like piers. Piers are. Everything is hard and sturdy, and you can look out into the ocean. There's just an endless, endless look into the galaxy, really. Wow. I'm really vibing on that answer, actually. Well, let's give Bachelor number one a little bit of loving. Yeah. I'd love some loving. Bachelor number one. If you were an alcoholic beverage, oh. which alcoholic beverage would you be? <laughs> I'm really drunk right now. <laughs> well, I would definitely be wine. Sparkling, bubbly, or flat, even. So. Does I, that answer your question? It certainly does not, but thank you very much. <laughs> uh, well, wow, wow. This is a lot. Okay. Um, well, I have an idea of who Bachelor number two is, and I know we're vibing, mm -hmm. but I'm just stumped. Host, could you please help me out a little bit here? Um, gosh. Well, let's just say um, the one hint that I am allowed to give you uh -huh. is two of these individuals are out of this world, you could say. Oh, kind of, yes. um, you know, a, a little bit detached from the reality mm -hmm. we are used to. The Certainly. other one is very based in reality. Wow. So am I allowed to guess 
who these people are right now, or is that we'll wait till the end of the show? Good until you feel you have a a good grasp, and then once the time comes through, we'll see how your guesses go. Excited, okay, gosh, and I'm so glad we're inclusive here because we have such a diverse panel of bachelors. I don't know who to pick from. You know, if I must, if I can say, if I if I can speak out of term, I I know, you know, bachelor number three here. you know, I think I think uh, inclusivity is is very important in in what we do here. I think it's really exciting to for people to see us including others uh, in in what we do here because it really is it's a family. You know, I mean, we're gonna make a family because. My rocks are gonna be uh, spidey tingling at the end of this. Well, if I can That's speak, the goal. if I can speak out of turn again, I just want you to know, um, the you know Anthony, I can't wait to. Let's just say, bend you over the back of the seat and 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 show you. Uh, let's just say it's showtime. Okay. Oh, well, it sounds like our bachelors are pretty excited. Do you have another round of questions here for him, Anthony? Well, you know, bachelor number three, if you could save all of the hungry people on Earth or create a new society in space... <clears throat> What would you do, and well, why? Well, now that reminds and how that reminds me actually. Fantastic question. You know, here at um, you know the company that I represent, maybe you could say uh, the the company of people that I represent. Uh, we're we're really about just creating new experiences for people, and so I would think that uh, we would create a new society. We'd create a new society with new rules, new new establishments there, just to make sure that everyone's having a good time, everybody feels safe, and everybody's being entertained, because that's really what we're all about. We just want to have a good time here. Um, but I will say the alternative as well, you know, feeding people so that no one is, is hungry, kind of reminds me of one of my all-time favorite movies, The Hunger Games. Uh, but I would think uh, a new society is a bit better of an alternative than the than the the magical, fantastic world that we get to see in one of my favorite films. Does that answer your question? No, it does uh. not. But thank you very much, <laughs> Bachelor Number One. My question yeah. for you is: Is a shaved head a hairdo? Well, you know. <clears throat> Just, just sipping on my uh, my beverage here. As a prince, someone of royalty, maybe I feel like I'm just opening up the flavors. I apologize. Oh no, okay, that is you. perfectly oh, fine. Good, good, good. Okay. You can okay. open up as many things as you want. Uh, I'll definitely be opening up those legs later. So, <gasps> oh my. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things, um, you know, uh, different hairstyles and different things like that. But in all of my experience, I don't really see a lot of shaved heads. But I will say, um, I am a fan of a uh, certain shaved carpet ride, if you know what I mean. (laughs) Bachelor number one, (laughs) thank you very much. (laughs) Well, I guess... One of my next questions here goes on to Bachelor number three. Now, you've been the most elusive Bachelor number three, so my big question here is, if you could be either a hot dog or a hamburger, which would you pick and why? Now, you see, that's a fantastic question, because I would say... Both of those things are are such staples in American traditions and values. And I'm all about traditions and values, family traditions and values, and and making sure that things that are important to people stay important to people. And especially when I'm going to the movies and I get to see, you know, friends, family, and enjoy this experience together, but we're all sharing similar values. Whether it's a hot dog or a hamburger, we're all having a good time. And I think that's really what it's all about. Bachelor number three, thank you. <laughs> but but I, 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 oh, you check. know that sound, Anthony. It's oh. time for the speed round. Oh, so yes, it's the speed round. <laughs> so you have four 
questions you're going to be asking. Okay. And each time you answer a question, it will be directed towards all three bachelors, starting at one, then two, then three to answer. Okay, good. All right, Anthony. So go ahead and ask them your first question. My first question is pretty simple. If you were a tape, what kind of tape would you be? Duct tape, masking tape, painter's tape? What, what, what would you be? Oh, well... Uh, bachelor number one here, and I would definitely say that I would be, you know, whatever tape you want me to be. I I have means to to kind of bend things maybe a little bit there, and and I definitely think I can kind of adapt and change, and maybe you know, you know, it, it's kind of like they like they used to say, you know, if you can wish it, you can do it, and if I can wish it, I can do it. Okay. Thank you very much, Bachelor number one. Absolutely. Um, bachelor number two, what's your answer? I would be Gorilla Tape because... Of course you'd be Gorilla Tape. Because when something is so broken apart, sometimes the only thing that can really hold it together is some strong Gorilla Tape. Okay. I would like to back up gorilla uh back up to bachelor number two quick okay. what do you what do you what do you say on that gorilla tape do you grip anything in particular with that gorilla grip well well <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to show you my gorilla grip after the show Anthony <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, cont- Bachelor number two. And now we look to Bachelor number three. What is your answer? You know, there are a lot of different kinds of tapes. There's uh, scotch tape, masking tape, uh, even gorilla tape and, and duct tape. All kinds of tape. But I think if I could be one kind of tape, it would be videotape. Because nothing really brings people together like sitting back, relaxing, with a good old-fashioned movie. (laughs) I was right. (laughs) Fantastic, Anthony. What is your next question for these three? My next question is very important. Are you close with your relatives, particularly your father? (laughs) That's an important thing to me. Bachelor number one here, I don't really know my father. You know, I kind of grew up on the streets doing what I could to get by. I did eventually kind of find out who he was, but I guess thievery just runs in my blood. Good answer. Uh, At least he's honest. Yeah, that's a very honest honest answer. Bachelor number two, are you close with your father? I guess you could say the type of father that I have is a little complicated. Um, I guess biologically I never had a father. But the closest thing I've really had, um, we're we're pretty close, I guess. Um, He's more like a master to me than a father. That's an interesting power dynamic, but uh, (laughs) Bachelor number three, how are you with your family? You know, I'm very close with my family. Particularly your father. Uh, Particularly my father. My father and I are incredibly close. Matter of fact, I managed to piggyback off of all of his hard work. To start something from the ground, and his father actually started from the ground, built up this thing, and he inherited it, made it this enormous thing, and now I inherited it, and I'm just keeping all those family traditions alive. You know, I people want to come and have a good experience and I, enjoy themselves, maybe sit back with some popcorn while watching a movie. I love that. I love that, Bachelor number three. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, 
I just came in to <laughs> I just came in to make sure that you were doing Bachelor the whole family four. name proud. <laughs> hey, sorry, I'll be taking off here. More like oh, widower Dad. number four. <laughs> Well, what a surprise <laughs> appearance from Bachelor number three's father. <laughs> well, I think we're getting close to the end, so we're actually going to shorten this down to one final question for one all of our question. bachelors. One final question. Okay, here. just just in case I don't know who all of these people are. <laughs> Take it away, host. No, you have one last question. Oh, one final for question. all three of them here. Make it a good one. My very last question are, or is, because it's singular. Is, If you were a holiday, which one would you be? And would you bring your father to? Bachelor number one? Hmm. If I was a holiday, which one would I be? Keep in mind, this is the uh, last question, Bachelor number one. You know, if I was a holiday, I would be Valentine's Day. Oh. Because let's just say that means every time we'd be together, there would be love in the air. Sparks flying, fireworks, you know, everything hearts, roses, flowers, <sighs> wine. I do love that. And I uh, love that, dude. Let's just say my pet monkey isn't the only thing I'll be riding that day. <laughs> I thought he rode a carpet. <laughs> That's well, I rode a two. carpet too. And my magical carpet isn't the only carpet I'd be riding that day either. Thank you very much, <laughs> Bachelor Number One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I would guess, if I was a holiday, it would probably be Halloween. There's just something about darkness that kind of consumes all of us at a certain point. I suppose striking fear. Yeah. Into the hearts, especially you have children trick or treating. I don't like kids, um, so that's not something me you'd neither. have to worry about with me. So I think Halloween, because you also have the movies where he goes around killing babysitters, and I think there's some sort of justice in that. I really like your honesty. That's very bold of you. Thank you. Very brave. Thank you, Anthony. Very. Dark side. <laughs> Bachelor number three, do you have an answer for me? Well, you know, Anthony, you know, Anthony, I do love all the holidays. It brings all the families together, and nothing's better on the holidays than going in with your family and seeing the next big blockbuster that's uh, in town right now that just hit the movie theaters. That's always the most fun thing to do and to bring your family together. But I would have to say, in regards to holidays, to me, every Tuesday is a holiday. And that's the holiday I'd be every Tuesday. What about Thursdays? Thursdays, not so much. A little bit, but Tuesdays are a bit more important to me personally. Okay. Thank you very much, Bachelor number three. Well, Anthony, you have your three bachelors here. Would you like to pick which one you want to get down and dirty with tonight? And then tell me who you think they all are. Well, I think I would have to go with Bachelor number. And then we pause for commercial break. And we're back. <laughs> I have made my decision, host. Fantastic. If we could get one more word from each of the bachelors to drag this out just a little further. Bachelor number one. 
I will show you my cock. Bachelor number two. In my point of view, this crowd is lively. And Bachelor number three. God, I love movies. God, I love movies. All right, Anthony. Who is your pick? Well, this is so hard. But at the same time, it's so easy. When you're really come at a crossroad, you ask yourself these big questions. How the hell did I end up on reality TV? (laughs) But then you think about it a little longer, and then you ask, why did I end up on reality TV? And then you think, and then you ponder, and then you go around yonder, and you get up on top of the hill, and you say... Oh, Farkas, because I have to go with bachelor number three, Greg Marcus. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> bachelor number three is Greg Marcus, and that is who will be getting your tumblies oh, jumbly no. tonight. Daddy, Greg, when did you get here? I thought you were happily married. What happened? Uh, uh, I'm rich. I can kind of do what I want. (laughs) (laughs) Well, in that case, let's get hitched. (laughs) Let's do it. All right, Anthony. So, Bachelor number three, Greg Marcus, that is correct, and that is your choice. Can you guess who the other two bachelors are? Well, number two, I would have to say, is Anakin Skywalker. Who That's is correct. the biggest e-boy I've ever met? <laughs> you found me out. I think we all found you out after episode six, before you, episode one came out. You didn't want to see me, Anthony? Not you and your crinkly, dinkly little ass. That's fair. But if you have some bionic parts to show me later, perhaps Greg and I will consider having you as well. Fantastic. Thank you. For your honesty. Of course. And who is Bachelor number one? Now, this was the toughest one for me. Because I was up in the air. Because first he talked about carpet rides and magic and being able to do whatever you want. And then he mentioned he had a pet monkey. And he also, you know, seemed like he, I don't know, knew his way around a magic lamp. But then I thought really long and hard, and I asked myself, is this Elon Musk or Amazon's Jeff Bezos? And then I thought, and then I thought, and then he said hair. And then I went, well, both of those are thinning. So that concluded that it must be Aladdin behind Bachelor number one. That is correct. Ow, I'm on fire. Boo, boo, fire, fire, fire. You have just one. For guessing all three contestants correctly, a lifetime supply of Fresca! Oh, that's exactly what I wanted, because I drank through this whole bottle during this show! (laughs) Now, you and Daddy Greg have a fantastic time on your cruise in the Philippines! Oh, thank you, Father Greg! (laughs) You know, at the end of the day, it's all about family values. And In scene. scene. <laughs> you forgot to mention their sponsor, United Way. Oh, that's right. United Way is one of the greatest causes <laughs> you can. <laughs> when you found out it was Greg. I had an inkling it was Greg at the beginning, <laughs> so, but I thought, <laughs> the why would this, thing. yeah, I was like, why would this be Greg Marcus? Uh, and then that's when I asked about your relationship with your father. And then I went, boom, it's Greg Marcus. When I had him come on. <laughs> when you had your father come on, that was, that was a dead <laughs> giveaway because if you're not from the Midwest, that's exactly what Greg Marcus and his father do. So Greg, Greg Marcus owns Marcus Theaters and... One of the best uh, movie theater experiences I've ever had. I, I've worked for Marcus Theaters for... You know, Century Cinema used to be years. a sponsor of ours. What happened with that? I don't know. We'll have to kind of reset that up. We'll have to reset that up because I want to meet Father Greg Marcus. I want to know who I'm going on this date with. That's true. After working with him for a really long time, you I don't know. Greg Marcus? Well, uh, for, for him, sorry. Mm. Working under his mm. banner for a mm. long time. I don't know if I want to meet him. 
Well, that's strange. But, uh... Because, I don't know. He he smiles at the camera, and then it goes, ding, and you go, maybe I could, you know... Maybe have I a, have a chance with him. I can have a beer with him. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, hit the rocks a little bit. I think just... <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit more bitter you, about him because I he's a boss. Figure. Never meet your hero. I definitely never not a meet hero. your hero. Definitely it never works out. Hero. <laughs> you know, I did that once. Did you? Yeah, Who did and you I meet? realized where that phrase came from. <laughs> Who did you meet? When I went down to Texas, I uh, I met some cool influencers that I've been fond of since I was a kid, and uh, I don't know. It was fine, but I uh, I paid for the pass plus. But they had a pass plus plus and a pass exclusive. <clears throat> so the exclusive people were right up front. And then the pass plus plus. And then there was me. And then there were like the normies uh, in our little line. And the panel went so long that they moved us to like not even the cool background. Because they had like a cool like red carpet style thing where you take pictures with them. And it was fun. Oh, yeah. They moved us to literally the back of a hotel wall. And oh. said, hey, here's where the rest of the stuff's going on because we have to keep this moving. And so I met them, and I tried to make, like, a little banter with them. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I didn't know you were left-handed. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm left-handed. And then I didn't know what to say. And then I was like, uh, after 30 awkward. seconds, it was, like, starstruck. And then I was like, that was very underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> They're just people. It, it is weird They're to do They're just people. Sometimes that can be pleasant. When I met Jeff and Riley for the first time, I was you like... You met them? Oh, yeah. Well, I... Because you're over a... Over Zoom. You're a Zoom pro. I am. They're going to be I'm on the show VI one podcast. day. We're going to get them on the show one day. One day. Maybe That's episode the 69. Goal. Nice. Nice, dude. Uh, but yeah, the first time I met them, I was like nervous as fuck. And now it's like... I don't know. It's it's exciting, it's, but it's like it's it's, cool. it's like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's just like They're oh cool hey, guys. Now, so if you met them in person. Do you think they'd recognize you? I think so. And the, not not to put you on the spot, but like that'd be super cool. I I, I'd love person. to meet them in person. I I don't think it'd be like this like crazy. For Angels me, it would be huge. And, yeah, but like I'm I mean they probably meet fans all the time. I'm sure. Yeah. So it's that'd like that'd be super cool though. But I, I think it'd I wanna, be very, very cool. That's I, why I think we it'd be started fun. this show, is so that you can meet Jeff and Riley. That's right. That's actually one of the reasons <laughs> we started this show. I think, I think um, <laughs> yeah, I think it, it's one of those things where it's like, I could, uh, I, I mean, if, 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 if I was in L.A. or something and ran yeah. into them, which... Mm-hmm. The chances are pretty astronomical, I feel. But if, <laughs> if that happened, like, I don't know. It's like, hey, we could probably have a drink or something together. That'd go be to the bar. super sick. Like, that'd be fun. That'd be cool. So I think, yeah. But So that's kind of cool meeting. I'm so... To meet Jake and Amir would be otherworldly. I would be nervous. Jake and Amir. To meet Jake and Amir. Because <laughs> Jake and Amir were like they're internet legends. superstars. They're yeah. cool. They're, they, they're, really they, cool. they're legends in, in that industry. And so it's like... But they're also very just cool people. So yeah. like to meet them, yeah. they would be very like chill about things. And I would be trying to not freak You'd be out. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, okay. Hi, I'm like, Kevin. I would literally just be like, hey, um, you can ask my wife just about every other thing that comes out of my mouth was inspired by fucking you two. Fucking you guys. <laughs> Your <laughs> computer is inspired by that. I, yes. Yeah. Literally, I have a sound on my computer that's a mirror going, ass. Ass. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I have an Ace and Jocelyn yeah t-shirt that i wear very proudly and that's every time rad. i put it on i sing the your my um, ringtone hat my have jorts or, hat you have, a, you have a sweatpants what, what is headgum my have headgum oh, yeah, sweatpants head, 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 head and then sweatpants. the hats headgum of jorts is headgum your sweatshirt merch. was the divorced one what was that oh and then that's my parents divorce that's jeff and riley's podcast yeah. oh okay which so is a headgum head gum, which but it's is not, still it's in the same universe but same um universe. My ringtone is the Ace and Jocelyn. Does that song. mean Finn McMissile is in the Headgum universe too? Finn Wolfhard? Yeah, yeah. That one. <laughs> Finn McMissile. Finn McMissile. <laughs> yeah, Finn Wolfhard is. He's been in a Headgum video. That's um, what it is. Video. And, and video. He, he's he has a podcast under Headgum as well. He's guested on Jeff and Riley's show. Mm-hmm. He's guested mm-hmm. on Jake and Amir's podcast. Mm-hmm. He's just he's he's. Yeah, Finn Wolfhard is part of the Headgum family, which you, is 
fucking universe. crazy. That's the sick. universe. It is wild. Yeah. Um, One of the there's a kids lot things. of. So you've seen Get Out, right? Nope. No, you haven't seen Get I Out. I haven't. Is he in Get Out? No, but the female lead in that movie mm-hmm. has was a two or three time reoccurring character in Jake and Amir before really? she made it big. So Damn. like she and she's Amir's like super fucking crazy friend. Like okay. she's nuts and it's very funny. Like That's awesome. She's just this like super crazy That's psycho. Sick. Uh, I love it. And so seeing her on this like dumbass mm-hmm. like thing, and then seeing her in like uh-huh. this super highly acclaimed movie, yeah. <laughs> it's like that's weird. awesome, dude. Um, but yeah, there's there's been like you know NBA players that have been on Jake and Amir before, mm-hmm. and nice. Hoodie Hoodie Allen's been on Jake and Amir stuff. He's like a rapper, I guess, but he's been on Jake and Amir and mm-hmm. on Headgum stuff, and yeah. so like there are some pretty notable names that have been involved in the Jake and Amir. And head awesome. universes, which is just wild. Love that. Yeah. So cool. But no, I, I would freak out to meet them. Yeah. Like, I would, I think, I, I would like to think I could compose myself, but internally mm. I'd be like nervous as fuck to meet believe them. It. Believe yeah. it. I believe it. Dude, that's fair. Fair enough. Yeah. So yeah. Anything else, uh, departing words before we kind of call it a night? Because we have to start tearing down. Yeah, we got to start so tearing down. So that we move into our new space. We're doing that ASAP because next week we're going to be shooting in our new location, yes. which is rad as fuck. Yeah, it is. Also, we we are going to be starting to ramp up our uh, our internet presence a little bit. So we're going to be doing all sorts of stuff on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So keep posted. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on those things. Uh, M yeah, you don't want to miss out. Underscore excellent underscore adventures. Mm-hmm. Also, I know our Instagram, Instagram hasn't been insanely we're gonna keep, busy we're gonna make as it of happen. late, but we are going to make it happen. And also, yeah. it like literally any drawings or pictures or whatever that yeah. you guys have of any uh-huh. stories that we've done or anything mm-hmm. like that, mm-hmm. we will very happily share. It's going to be awesome. We have a few up. Um, super cool. There, there's a few people who have yet to submit things, but we've seen mm-hmm. work from them. Yeah, that they're just not finished with yet. But then that'll be going straight up on the Instagram and awesome. everything. So, so yeah, please make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram. You don't want to make sure out. to subscribe on YouTube because we love to see uh, some support on that. Just because I, I love doing these video things. They're a pain to edit, but they're so much fun. They and are super we, fun. We we love doing these. So if you really like these things, make sure to uh, subscribe. That way you can see them uh, or is, comment or like. I mean, whatever you want to do. This really uh, is the heart and soul of my but, grassy knoll. But yeah, and if you're listening to us on SoundCloud, Spotify, whatever you guys are listening to, please, please subscribe and just follow us because the more yeah. people we know who are subscribed to us, uh, I mean, keeps us going, but also tell your friends. Yeah, tell your friends about the it. The more Be people like, who are uh, enjoying it, the more, in, like, I don't know, the more ideas we can get for yeah. things we can do. You yeah, know? and the awesome, more fun so. it is. Also, if you yeah. ever feel like guesting on the show, hit us up and we would be... Up. Happy to. Michael, Michael and, and Anthony, Anthony Adventures, Adventures at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. Once again, that's Michael and Anthony Adventures at gmail.com for and all of your email needs. Yeah. You know, any, we, we try to be as responsive. We're, we're incredibly we're pretty quick, quick to uh, respond responding to, to listeners and stuff like yeah. that. So, um, yeah, Love that. reach out to us because we're, that's always really exciting. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. if you just want to DM us on Facebook and say, stop. That's yeah. fine too. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Facebook and say, "Why are you messaging me?" Yeah, and I'll say, "I didn't message you." <laughs> That's bitch. perfect, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? What? That's from Jake and Amir. Is it actually? I did not know that. And then I was watching an old Jake and Amir episode, and Amir goes, "Bitch," and I went. That's fuck, why I do this. I, I've just absorbed everything. There's, from I this literally show. have. There's so many times where I'll be watching it and I'll Oh, that's go, awesome. That's Damn great. it, that's where that's from. That's golden. So, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening. Make sure to follow us, subscribe, email us, whatever you want to do. But please, please, please tell us you enjoy this show to some capacity, even if it's just a like on Facebook. And we tell love us a getting story. that sort of stuff. And we don't need that validation, but I just want to make sure that you're taking care of I need the validation. You're taking care of us, and I want to make I sure need that the you're validation. taking care of, okay? So thank you very Without much. Without the validation, everybody, I would be for nothing. listening, and bye bye. Kisses.